Hello everyone, welcome to our very first episode of Online Encores, a brand new series of the Chelsea Music Festival that <clears throat> features recordings from our first 10 seasons. And we are so excited to start off in this first opening night with our episode entitled Opening Nights. Opening Nights is a small selection of pieces of some of our favorite moments from festivals past. We hope they give you a glimpse into the incredible energy and joy that we feel on every single opening night, season after season. And we are going back to 2015 when we celebrated this great Finnish composer, among many others, Sibelius. It was his 150th and we are starting off our opening nights episode with the Andante Festivo, which is indeed very festive for string orchestra. And it's led by the players of our ensemble and residence that year, the Avanti Chamber Orchestra, one of the great orchestras that in 2015 was celebrating their 30th anniversary. And this year, obviously their 35th anniversary. So a big wave to Avanti. Uh, and we hope that you're well and we're so grateful for this exploration of Finnish music that went all the way from Sibelius to new compositions uh, in 2015 and we have very fond memories. So this is where we started off with some festival strings um, that are joined with the Amanti Chamber Orchestra for the Andante Festival which is followed by a great piece by the Finnish composer Rautavara who was Told it was he really followed in the footsteps of Sibelius, was one of the great Finnish composers, and was still alive during the performance uh, of this recording. So we hope that you would enjoy um, these two pieces now to start us off for opening night's episode with Sibelius and the Rautavara's Finnish myth.
Our next piece on tonight's program is a piano concerto by the composer Binna Kim. Binna came through the festival last year in 2019 when we celebrated the 200th anniversary of Clara Schumann's birth. We invited 10 female composers to write pieces inspired by Clara and her piece is called Stacked Emotions and it was electric and electrifying and to share a message about it um, is Binna herself. Hi, my name is Binna Kim. I'm a composer currently living in Boston. My piece, Stacked Emotions, is written for choir, piano, and string ensemble, and it was commissioned and premiered by the Chelsea Music Festival in 2019. I wanted to write a piece to celebrate Clara's life. So for the first movement, I wrote a mini piano concerto, spotlighting Clara's main instrument, piano. And for the second movement, I took the text from a poem by Elizabeth Browning, whose life I saw some shared parallels with Clara's. The poem is titled The Best Thing in the World, and it asks some rhetorical questions about the meaning of life, the beauty of nature, and most importantly, love. As I was writing this piece, the idea was to imbue a sense of uplift joy, excitement, encouragement, and love, and to remind us that we can overcome the struggles in our lives and come out much stronger. My experience with the Chelsea Music Festival is very special and memorable one. It is so exciting and such an honor to be working with people who are full of passion and strive to create great music together and bringing it to the world with a positive message. Binna told us that her piece was inspired by both Clara Schumann and the poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning and the really close-knit musical circles and fellowship that these two women enjoyed. So we really loved witnessing this collaboration and fellowship in the rehearsals and performance of Binna's piece by our wonderful festival musicians with the incredible Andrea Lamb on piano and the ghost like chorus, uh, so expertly led by Evelyn Trista de Graff. Thank you. 
So let's round out this first episode opening nights with a look back at 2017 where our topic was measuring time and Melinda was joined by the then artists in residence called the Verona Quartet. That was the day they performed Clocks by Miguel de Aguila, award-winning. Uh, we actually had a wonderful Latin Grammy nomination for this piece in 2010 because it's really a wonderful composition and we couldn't wait to bring it to the New York audience. And so for this New York premiere, um, everybody joined forces for this opening night performance and we are now going to be joined by the Verona Quartet via video conference. And let's go in and see them. Hey. Hello. Hi. 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 Good. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. You know, you guys were our artists in residence in 2017. And this piece that we're featuring uh, with you is called Clocks, which is a phenomenal piece by Miguel de Aguila. And uh, I, I enjoyed it very much, uh, your performance very much, but um, do you have any uh, highlights, any, any fond memories? Was the, the rehearsal process was really, really fun. I, we, you know, I remember, I remember during the rehearsal, um, Melinda, and there was this part in the piece where we have to play and sing at the same time. And we were so, this was the first time we had done anything like that in a quartet. And so we were so, we were so like tentative. We were like, ah, ah, ah. we really have to sell it. Yeah. <laughs> and you were like, yeah. you guys have to really sing on it. I remember that was, look, that was so much fun. I love that the piece, um, there's such a great scope to it. You know, the first movement starts really softly, um, the texture is really bare, all of us are plucking our strings, and, and then it ends in super exciting, sort of like this tango-esque kind of movement, and there's so much energy to it. And when I was listening to our recording, I like was, I couldn't help myself but just groove to it. It's just so, yeah. it's so thrilling. It was so fun pulling it together with you. And I think we have- Well, yeah, we have a surprise. Um, uh, you don't know who's going to join us, but we have someone special joining us. Let's see. Let's see who it is. It's oh Miguel. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, the composer. Wow. <laughs> Miguel, hey. That's amazing. Oh my God. Can you hear us? <laughs> Hi. Miguel, Hello. Hey. Hi. Long, long time no see. Yes, indeed. Look, and we totally surprised them. The Verona <laughs> Quartet had no wow. idea uh, that you would be joining so us. But to welcome to our, our opening nights. You know, when we revisit, this is our first online encore day. Thank um, you. I, I started watching the video. You sent me the link and I, I said, okay, oh, here comes clocks. And I heard it so often. And it is, you just made it amazing. It's so different and so much fun, so, so rhythmic. And uh, you really explore the sound for the sound itself. I always had, while I was writing this piece, I don't know if you guys have some, this sense sometimes that when you are looking at things, they look inanimate or, or in, uh, they don't move, they look mm -hmm. uh, inert, right? And you wonder if when you are not looking, those things become alive. Like, <laughs> so um, so um, in, when I was writing this piece, that was the idea. It was like you are in a clock museum and when you look at, when you walk around and see the different clocks, which are the movements, they all take time, very well behaved. And you know, the way you are supposed to hear the grandfather clock and all this, and then, the moment the museum closes at the end and it's dark and the people are gone, then comes the last movement, right? Where nothing is clicking right and yet it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, Verona, you guys were really absolutely such a great fit. I think, you know, with, with Melinda and you and, and, you know, the atmosphere um, during the festival, 
it was so great to have you and you it felt like you really clicked with this with this atmosphere and the peace and with the spirit that uh, Miguel uh, just left in there. You know, it was the first time for all of us to play your piece. But I think we just threw ourselves into it and we so enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So thanks so yeah. much. For Absolutely. You. you guys Absolutely, are really, yeah. you are very talented. Right? It's such an effective piece. I think this is, I, I've not seen this uh, video until you sent it to us a few days ago. And it's, it's such a great piece, you know, when you're in the moment and you're trying to uh, bring across all their sound effects and do everything in time, play and sing at the same time. You don't really appreciate until you're sitting outside of it and watching it all unfold. It's, it's yeah. such, such a great, great piece, so effective. It was so nice to watch that video. I mean, really, I mean it. Uh, it was yeah. wonderful to relive it, but also just to like see your faces, well, your face, your faces now and your face in that video was just like <laughs> such a wonderful reminder of what life can be like <laughs> so like, music, making music with friends it's just like a, it yeah. feels good to watch that kind of thing now <laughs> yeah it is the best i'm looking forward to finishing our our opening nights episode here with this piece and uh also verona thank you so much for making time from everywhere to join us we wish you all the very best stay healthy miguel great writing, continuing uh, with that. And, and we hope um, that Verona, that you guys can continue soon as well um, to, to join together. And thank nice you. Nice to see you all. Hope so we nice meet, to meet, Miguel. We nice meet soon meet in person, guys. Yes. Thanks so much, Miguel, for joining us. Thanks. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Oh,
Thank you.